As promised in my last episode, let's talk about artificial intelligence regulations in some leading jurisdictions of the world. Let's talk about North America first. Obviously, very briefly. There is no federal AI specific regulation in the United States or Canada for that matter. But the proposed legislation is under consideration. At the same time, there are laws and frameworks which are relevant to AI in that geographical jurisdiction. For instance, privacy statutes restrict the development and use of AI in connection with individuals and their personal data in that part of the world. <laughs> then there are other laws which regulate artificial intelligence like IPR laws, data protection laws, uh, consumer protection laws, tort and human rights and uh, anti-discrimination laws as well. So these, these laws are related to AI, directly or indirectly. In the United States, until 2021, artificial intelligence directed bills and resolutions were introduced in at least 17 or 18 states and enacted in about four states, to my understanding. In, in Canada also, you know, Bill 64 in Quebec, uh, on the data protection includes new provisions regarding automated decision making. This particular bill or law was adopted in September last year and will, uh, will, will come into force in September 2023. Then there are provisions and regulations regarding facial recognition, biometrics, chatbots, ethical standards which are contained in, in OECD uh, principles and so on and so forth. Time is short so I'll be just touching upon the jurisdictions or territories uh, around the world. Singapore. Again, no specific AI legislation, but some significant amendments have been brought about in the in the in the in the Personal Data Protection Act, uh, allowing companies to use the, uh, the, the 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 personal data of customers and and their users, etc. Uh, but that is. You, that usage is going to be only for the purposes of business improvements. That's what the law says. So it's, it's not a sweeping usage, unguided usage. It, it's not like that. Also, the, the Monetary Authority of Singapore has issued guidelines and principles for the financial sector businesses about, uh, about the, the, the usage of AI by, by, by following the principles of fairness, ethics, accountability, and, uh, and, and transparency. Basically, basically, you know, responsible use of AI, if I was to put it simply. Singapore has uh, also earmarked uh, Singapore dollar 180 million for artificial intelligence research and also launched several projects like Veritas, Nova, Fintech, etc. to work on artificial intelligence frameworks. Uh, China, Hong Kong and Australia, there are, there are no specific laws relating to artificial intelligence, big data or algorithm. Uh, decision making. Again, there is a range of laws in all these nations which I just mentioned, which, which may regulate artificial intelligence 
indirectly. For in, in instance, in, in China, there exist cyber security laws, data security laws, and personal information protection uh, laws uh, as, as well. In Hong Kong, uh, there are there is a there is a personal data uh, ordinance uh, on the similar lines. In in Australia, also there is uh, Privacy Act of 1988. Well, apart from these laws, the governments of these nations, China, Hong Kong, Australia, uh, you know, through relevant departments, have issued guidelines uh, as to as to the ethics uh, following the principles of ethics while while using uh, artificial uh, intelligence so finally you know talking about china uh, i would say that there has been a major development across the globe uh, but uh, in china there, there has been uh, Extraordinary development in, in, in 2021, August, the, the, the Cyberspace Administration of China issued a draft proposal of, of regulations to manage uh, how the, the, the technology companies use algorithms while, um, while providing services to the consumers. Uh, uh, the, the, the regulations propose to, to ban, uh, which, which is a very, very significant provision uh, that the, the regulations propose to ban encouraging addiction or high consumption, any threat to national security or public order, uh, give users the ability to easily turn off algorithm recommendations. That, that set of regulations have been introduced in draft if accepted these could become a set of model laws for many nations yes well in my next episode i will be discussing uh, i'll be discussing artificial intelligence regulations in the united kingdom europe and india see you then bye bye